Fly Guys. Today I'm going to read Prince Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. Um, my son, who is 16, still loves Fly Guy books and he thinks I should read every single one. So I just grabbed one of his many books that we're going to read it. So let's go. Prince Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. I love these books too. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. And Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. Chapter one. One night, Buzz said, I have homework to do. I have to write a fairy tale. Can you help me, Fly Guy? Yes. Well, said Buzz, how does this sound? Once upon a time, yes. Okay, said Buzz. Once upon a time, there was an ugly troll. Okay, he didn't seem to like that. You don't like that. Well, that's a, what about a smelly pig herder? Mm, don't think he likes that one either. No? What about a handsome prince? Yes. Okay, said Buzz. The handsome prince walked to the dark castle. Hmm? He doesn't like walking that far. Maybe instead of walking, said Buzz, what if he rode to the dark castle? Nope. No, I've got it. He flew to the dark castle. Yes. Chapter two. At the dark castle, said Buzz, the handsome prince ate cold porridge. Yucks. What if he kissed a frog? Gross. I've got it. He rescued a beautiful princess. Yes. But a giant lived in the dark castle. Yikes. Chapter three, the giant chased the handsome prince and the beautiful princess. He knocked them down to the ground, swat. The princess threw her crown. It hit the giant on the nose, bonk, yes. The giant fell down, oh yes. Oh, what's he gonna fall on, look at this. The prince's crown is on the ground. Ouch, 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 ouch. He ran away. <laughs> the prince and the princess flew, princess flew home. They made matching crowns. Nice. And they lived happily ever after. Aww. The end, said Buzz. I like my fairy tale, said Buzz. Hey, want to write another one? Yes. Okay, once there was a hairy dwarf. Hmm. <laughs> that was adorable. <laughs> 